Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew and Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 15th, 2020. Welcome to another video from Media Mike with a big world update for you here, as a lot is going on. Starting out here, looking at our sun, as we have one, two, three active sunspots we're looking at now along the southern hemisphere. The departing one, small shot. Earth facing seems to be semi quiet. But this incoming one, I believe, is connected to another sunspot on the back side of the sun. You can't really see what it's connected here on 304 angstroms, but in another view, you can. Just observing here the outgoing images 304 angstroms, able to see the plasma filaments large ejections or erections here the plasma we got to thank again all of this researchers and developers at solar dynamics observatory to provide all this for us looking here at 511 angstroms and currently there are no coronal holes earth facing but you can definitely see on the left side here that big arc in between the two bright regions there, our sun is about to do something crazy, I believe. Definitely going to be keeping an eye on our sun the next couple days. As every planet and every star, every so often, goes through a magnetic reversal. Earth becomes north, or north becomes south, south becomes north. And when I see actions like this going on makes me believe that we are on the verge of some kind of event with our sun seems to be some organized sunspots here looking here a real-time solar wind is it has diminished still down to 300 kilometers per second schumann resonance for today a power of 13 base frequency of 7.8 hertz and let's look at the latest earthquakes from around the world. Most recent here, some earthquakes going off in Idaho still. And as well, Nevada earthquake swarm that has been happening recently. Also, just recent, I just got this in. There was a 5.9 earthquake reported in the Philippines. At an 80 kilometer depth. But yeah, back to North American plate throughout Stanley, Idaho. We've seen the earthquakes increase over the past little while. Seems to be swarming in Mena, Nevada, Stanley, Idaho. All southwestern flank of the largest dormant volcano in the world, Yellowstone. So please stay safe and aware and prepared, folks. A lot is going on. This is the last seven days for earthquakes in the region. So around the world we go for earthquakes. Reporting here in Texas, a 3.3 and as well a 2.8 and a 3.5 in Snyder, Texas. Going through Central America, active today as well through the Atlantic plate. 4.6 there, Nicaragua. And Puerto Rico with some minor earthquakes today. But then the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, 4.9, two of them, followed by a 4.8. Down South America, some deep earthquakes today as well, early this morning, 
5.3 in Chile-Argentina border at 142 kilometer depth. Watch for volcanic activity to increase along the coastline there. Minor 4.5, 4.3 moving up into Chile. Quiet across the African plate. 4.1 reported here in Kazakhstan. And then into the West Pacific Ring of Fire. Looking at 5.0 here. Phil or sorry, 5.1 Philippines, 5.0 Japan. As well as 4.9 here in the Volcano Islands region, Nishinashima. Papua New Guinea going off, 4.7 and 4.6. 4.8 Vanuatu, but still quiet for deep earthquakes. Especially when we look at the last seven days as around the world there's been a lot of deep earthquakes on every continent but North America so stay safe this is the quiet zone Cascadia North American plate something I wanted to point out here is throughout last night and during the day today the BC coastline received quite a wind event and they're going to see another one here in the next week or so. Sustained winds 70 kilometers an hour. And that's Tuesday into Wednesday. That's pretty much what they saw last night. A lot of wind warnings went off. People in the live streams coming in saying their power's out. And the same thing was happening in Brantford, Ontario. During the day today as thunderstorms rolled through there. So a lot of wind events that we're going to be dealing with with the large low pressure systems developing in the Pacific and as well in the Atlantic. And that's what I talk about all the time on this channel. Is that these systems are getting bigger, more organized and more intense with their velocity and intensity. Just wanted to show you those windy maps as well. The next 10 days for snowfall here we are, three days, five days, and 10 days. You can see here the storms that are running up the BC coastline are dropping a lot of snow. They're looking at about 200 centimeters falling in the next 10 days. And ahead of these systems, the Chinook Arch here in Calgary, Alberta, leaves us high and dry and is well born, which is kind of lucky. You can see that big arch sticking over top there as well observing quite a bit of snow here parts of eastern europe 250 centimeters falling in some regions of finland as well parts of northern united kingdom looking at about 10 centimeters in the next 10 days as well through central europe higher elevations of about 22 centimeters and across russia they're already buried in snow and there's a lot more to come especially across Eastern Russia. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Media Earth, Media Mike. Starting out here overlooking Calgary, Alberta. As you can see the temperature transition each day, nighttime it's cool and daytime it's warm. And ahead of this system that's coming through on the coastline, it will warm up, but then it will cool down as it develops an Alberta clipper to head eastward but all of my bc friends and family stay safe aware and prepared things are going to cool off and a lot of rain that's on its way as well the strong winds looking at really cold temperatures already starting to move in to uh, northwest territories and as well parts of northern alberta here already sitting at minus 25. calgary we will be seeing a low of minus four in the next five days Cooler temperatures will move eastward as that large low pressure system moves through Ontario, which knocked out a lot of power to my friends and family, especially in Eagle Place, Brantford, Ontario. It's where my brother lives. And then, yeah, along the east coast here, watch for that blizzard to continue to roll into Quebec. 
and bring a lot of moisture to the Atlantic provinces and then the Alberta Clipper here to bring snow across the prairies and rip down a high pressure ridge behind that so cold temperatures are on their way. Now we're looking at Tropical Storm Iota who is now a category two moving into possibly a category four today. Stay safe at where and prepared Nicaragua, Honduras, Guatemala. This low pressure system could head back into the Gulf. Gonna be keeping an eye on that. It may do the same track that ETA did overlooking South America. Daily evaporation rains heavier amounts through Colombia down into Paraguay and as well a Brazil southern Brazil seeing some pretty stormy conditions over the next few days as things are really heating up Africa not too much to talk about here actually we could talk about how dry it's gonna be and warm a little bit of daily evaporation rain through central regions but dry and warm across the rest of the continent. Moving up into Europe, we already talked about the snow that was coming to eastern parts of Europe. Big low pressure system there affecting you guys in the coming days. And then watch for another low pressure system to come from Greenland and Iceland to affect the United Kingdom. Most likely we'll be dropping a lot of cold temperatures behind it. Overlooking Russia cold temps sticking around and snow still falling already looking at minus 30 there probably minus 25 to minus 30 parts of eastern Russia and then a strange event here watching Typhoon Vamco most likely will head across China here and back into the West Pacific so that's Vamco there just east of Thailand and it's going to move up through China and Korea and back into the Pacific and head towards the Alaskan Peninsula. So stay safe, aware and prepared. A lot is changing, especially when these hurricanes and typhoons make it to the North Pole to reach those ferocity winds. Australia, dry and warm. Not too much to talk about at all. Next five days not showing any moisture except for parts of northern regions daily evaporation rain but things are really hot friends and family around the world if you enjoyed this video please smash that like button thank you so much for supporting my works my research and my productions stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning due bye bye And don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.